Hello and welcome. Sometimes you have .msi files lying around. You can see it in the properties or by enabling file name extensions. .msi, .msi. These are files that install software, but sometimes you want to know what would they install? Or maybe even you can run the software without installing it? So to prevent having to install these .msi files, even though MSI is a relatively safe format, you can just extract the data from inside of these files. For example, 7-zip has an MSI installer. But hey, we're going to look at how to extract these two MSI files without having to install them. And I recommend that you get less MSI. There is a free download link. This is free and open source. You can find the link to this page in the description of this video. And all you do is press this button, just download. It will send you to releases. Here you don't get the source code, you get the zip file and save it. And once it's done, just open the folder and here extract it by right clicking it and then pressing extract all. And just extract, you can uncheck or check this if you want. And it creates a folder, less MSI. All right, so let's just run lessmsi.exe. That opens this. Les Miserables. What a funny name. So let's see, can we maybe just drag in one of these MSI files in here? We'll start with a smaller 7-zip. Yeah, 2 megabytes better than 300. Yes, indeed, we can drag it in here and we can already see which files get created or extracted by it. We don't hold any translations, for example, so let's just start here we don't need text files not sure what ttt is supposed to be we can just shift click here and then extract these okay this is a problematic user interface but oh well i guess username and then down there is no downloads okay let's go to desktop let's create extracted and okay so here on the desktop, this folder got created and here is the files. Can we just run this now? Yes, we can just run this now. Fantastic. All right, so this worked for this file. Let us now create another empty folder for HitFilm, my other example. HitFilm being a free video editor, which requires you to give up your email address and uh, installing it, but you can, I think, just extract it as well. So let's just less MSI, start again, drag in the HitFilm Express in here. And there's a bunch of files. Let's not bother with filtering. Let's just extract all. And we're going to go to desktop, extracted HitFilm. All right, this one takes a bit longer because it's 275 megabytes. This is slow. Don't tell me you froze. Nope, looks like it's done. All right, let's get in there and in here. And um, another question is where this, uh, where the exe file of this program is? Nope, DLL files, probably not. OFX, no, no. Ah, maybe here. All right, hit Film Express, let's start it. Encountered a problem and has to exit. Don't send. Don't send. Well, that is a shame. Maybe if you run as administrator? No. So that is a shame. I could have sworn this worked uh, at my previous attempt. Anyways, what this thing does, it does successfully extract these files. Anyways, I hope your applications that you try to extract this way will work. Did work for 7-zip, doesn't work for HitFilm right now. But there's no guarantee that the applications will work. There is just a guarantee that it will extract the files. Anyways, have fun with not having to install your programs anymore to see what's inside of them. And see you next time. Ciao!